to our channel. Today we're heading west after spending last night at the Bowenville Hotel. Um, not a bad little pub. We had a good feed there. Dave had lamb shanks and I just had some fish. Um, met up with a couple of mates, Dean and Michelle. Um, uh, no cost. There was toilets and showers available if you need. Uh, they had a nice warm fire inside. Power. Obviously we just used your own water, used their power and drunk their beer. <laughs> and today we're heading out to Chinchilla Weir. It's um, 20 to 10 in the morning. The weather is pretty shitty. We've heard that all roads to Birdsville are closed. At... Well, I wouldn't say all roads. Oh, you can come through from South Australia, but all other roads are closed. But tonight we're stopping at Chinchilla Weir. Uh, it's a free camp, I think. Uh, it might be a donation. I'm not 100% sure. Can't remember what it said. And there are toilets available as well there. There's no power and uh, no water. But hopefully this rain um, disappears and those roads dry out for us to get to the bash. Anyway, as when we get a bit closer to the Chinchilla Weir, I'll um, give you a bit of a look around and we'll show you once we get there. One thing I would say though is it's very green out here at the moment and I dare say the farmers are loving the rain. So obviously the uh, it's not that big a thing, right? Um, if we can't get through because the roads are cut off, I'm um, thinking about holding my own concert five dollars a ticket we can sit around a campfire drink piss and i'll sing kumbaya something along those lines the police have been making a roaring trade out there pulling idiots out of bogs and uh fining them eight hundred dollars for trying to use the road when they're being closed hey guys we're still on our way to chinchilla weir the rain's setting in heavier at the moment Welcome to Chinchilla, everybody. That's not too bad. I look forward to showing another cup of tea again soon. Okay, we've pulled up at the Weir. Bloody raining. A few caravans here. It's lovely weather if you're a duck. Got a beautiful dam and weir over the back here. We are close to the highway, but we're only here for one night. Hey Chris, guess what? We're here on the weir. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> Through the gates there are some several little power boxes so you pretty much just pull up plug in you've got your own little personalized fire pit it's gonna walk up this way towards the amenities and check it out So this new area is not open yet. You're allowed to walk up here and that, but they are still under construction and getting the sites. But once it gets going, it's gonna be a cracking site to uh, come and stay at. I was just talking to one of the local workers and he was, he was telling me that uh, there's plenty of, um, this runs off the Condamine River and um, 
There is plenty of uh, yellow belly, cod, um, some dewfish, the odd uh, bit of perch. Yeah, so if you've got a tinny, bring her up, put her in, and away you go. Awesome little place. or anything like that um, as you've seen from the uh, video that Roz took when it is up and running in full flight it'll be an awesome little stopover there's uh, power there toilets and everything that we showed you it's um, rained most of last night and it's still raining we're on our way to Roma and we're stopping in at the uh, big rig tourist, tourist park, park. Um, we'll give you a bit of a look around the tourist park there, tell you what it has on offer. There's a couple of caravan parks in Roma, and uh, we'll also tell you the pricing. Um, not much to see on the road in front of us, Roz will give you a look in a minute, but uh, it is very wet. As I said before, well, at least the farmers will be very happy. Um, that's uh, wrapping up our uh, first video of uh, the um, journey to the Big Red Bash out in Birdsville. We stopped in for a night at Bowenville, um, at the pub there, free camp. Uh, we then moved on to Chinchilla Weir. Again, it was a free camp. It looks like it's going to scrub up all right when they finally open up the new part of it. Um, from there, we moved up the road to Roma and we stayed at the Big Rig Tourist Park. Anyway, before I crack on with uh, your most favourite part of the episode, Joke Time with Dave, just like to say that uh, thanks for all the uh, positive comments that we've been receiving. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up either on uh, Instagram, Facebook or YouTube. We will get back to them. Um, the next couple of days we may be in and out of reception, so we will see that as soon as we get a chance we'll respond and we'll help you out. wasn't that long ago that um, we were sitting on, we are trying to crack the 300 mark. Well now we're pushing 850 
and to think that we only started this video vlogging about 10 weeks ago and that was purely for our children and uh, our family to actually follow our travels around Australia and our adventures of what we get up to. Just remember if you uh, do like it um, and you like our videos, if you haven't already please hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll get any new content that we put up. Don't forget to share it amongst your friends and let them know about our channel as well. Alright, let's see if we can get to the thousand subscribers mark. Alright, now here's that joke. Hey Roz, did you hear about the uh, cows smoking pot and playing poker? Nope. The stakes were high. <laughs> Catches. Also guys, you may have seen that we on social media that we're selling our caravan and our car. We're not leaving the JB Caravan family and we are not getting rid of our YouTube channel. We are just upgrading the layout. So hang around, stay tuned, and as soon as we've got our new vehicles, we'll let you know.